Hey, this is Zach with Iron Oak Farm, and today we are planning on cutting some hay. So as always, using really old equipment, now this is Ruby, our uh, 1946 Farmall H, and I went to start her, and she was gushing out hydraulic fluid out of this broken line that runs a cylinder that hasn't operated in probably 30 or 40 years. So luckily, it's got this quick disconnect. I think I'm just going to be able to disconnect that and twist tight out of the way and get her back up and running and we can get the sickle bar hooked up. Was easy enough. Now that we've got the sickle bar hooked up to Ruby, I noticed uh, I got a flat tire. So I'm going to use my portable air tank and blow that up real quick and we should be on our way. like we're going to be replacing it but let's see if we can get some cutting out of it first <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
done cutting, we cut these two fields. That's uh, a few acres or so. Uh, we gotta let this hay dry. Uh, we don't have a crimper or anything like that. I don't usually use a rake just because my rake doesn't work very well. But um, we're gonna wait about four or five days, let this hay dry in the sun. Weather looks perfect. Uh, no, uh, no rain in the forecast, foreseeable forecast. So it's gonna be dry and hot and sunny. Perfect weather for drying this hay up. And then once it's dry, we'll see you then. We'll be baling it and getting it off the field. Have a good one.